2022. We hope might act politically like 1922. I'm Mark Stewart, Little History Lesson. Many of you know this. 1922 was the first full year of the Warren Harding presidential administration. And it followed an administration that included almost three years fighting World War I. And with it, incredibly abnormal aberrations. Abnormal practices from what Americans knew and expected of our governance. Ones that restricted our rights in order to supposedly, in theory, better fight the German Hunt, the Austro-Hungary alliance with Germany that was trying to maraud over Europe. Well, in the process, the freedoms of Americans were greatly restricted, probably unheard of. Even during Civil War times, the World War II restrictions were never deemed necessary until President Wilson and, with the help of Congress, um, imposed restrictions on us. Folks, that pales into comparison to the restrictions of the last two and a half years on Americans that our own governors and two presidents now have allowed to happen. The restrictions on where we could pray, who we could visit if they were ill, where we could take our ill relatives, how we can run our businesses, whether we can go to another business, whether we can even open a business in the first place, whether we can frequent a hotel, and who we can communicate with in person, all restricted far longer than needed. Okay, we knew after two months of the pandemic hitting in this country, what the consequences for health were. We knew it affected old people who were compromised very badly with deaths and maimings, and a few younger people, very few, who would be hospitalized. We knew by May of 2020 that children were not needed in school to be masked. Children are the least susceptible to the disease that afflicted us. Yet, here it is, 2022. And though masking has been eliminated in many cities for outdoor and even indoor activities, thank goodness, these same cities impose it on the kids in school. The kids who themselves probably are more affected by wearing a mask. Their health, their psychology is changed our whole psychology as Americans is on the verge of being damaged because we're treating it as normal. That force from government, and I'll tell you, even more so from big corporations that are following government dictates and the political flancy of the times and forcing people to mask, forcing people to vaccinate, it's abnormal. And we are on the precipice of turning it into normal if we accept it in times when a disease now is no worse than a cold to almost every one of us. The amount we've expended on protecting a few who probably deserve that protection from government is so colossally high. We could have purchased for every 85 and older person who was afraid of succumbing to COVID, we could have purchased an annex to their home, a $250,000 bubble-proof, bubble-wrapped edition, sanitized and attended to 24-7 by a servant. That's the cost that we've expended so far. Now, the cost in freedom, you can't even calculate. People whose businesses could not run. People whose elective surgeries were no longer allowed to be elected. People whose travel was restricted, again, by state governors taking power. At this point, schools and corporations like the power that they've amassed and don't want to give it up. We know that masking has not been helpful. So what remains now is an obedience mask 
That's the reason the people are wearing it. We know that they are not being protective against the latest strain of COVID-19. We also know that vaccines do not protect against transmission. They might protect if you get something, good for you. But it's not good for society to command that a vaccine be needed before you work or deal with the public. It's an incredible invasion of our privacy to ask people about their vax status. We once enacted HIPAA, the Patient Privacy Act, in order to keep medical decisions that you do with your body away from the public. And now we've gone 180 degrees. Folks, if the tyrants, the dictators, the monarchs in Europe back in the 19 teens who wanted to amass territory had all their designs granted, all the territory that they wanted, the citizens of that territory probably would not have seen very different rule over them. Whether Prussians were ruled by Germans or Austro-Hungarians or had their own continuing realm, their lives would have been about the same. And yet we fought a war to protect those rights. Our own rights have been eviscerated by ourselves. And that is something that needs to end. And we can end it ourselves. This supposed war on COVID, which never needed to be a war in the first place, can be ended immediately. Governors who still have plenty of power, you won't lose a whole lot of it if you just let us get back to normal and let us grow your economies better than we ever have before. Please listen and turn us back politically to the hundred years ago time when America returned to normalcy. We can do that now. I'm Mark Stewart.